Okay, so this is the cap machine which we will use to recycle um, leaf, uh, maize leaves, um, uh, general leaves, paper, basically any farm leftovers, any agricultural material can be used. Husks from um, um, peanuts, from groundnuts to husks, okay? And what we have to do first, if you can just go a bit, you see that plastic there? Yeah. Yeah. I've put, you put the, it's like making compost, right? You put your maize leaves, you chop them into small bits and pieces, okay? By the size of cornflakes, little like a fingernail. Nice and small pieces. Then you put it under plastic, you let it rot for a couple of days until it becomes mulchy, all right? And then you take it and put it and soak it in water, all right? To get it really, and you make it a mash out of it. All right? This mash you then take and put into one of these containers, all right? This fits on here. Okay, and then we have the pipe. This will center in the center, okay? So that we will end up with a briquette which has a hole in the middle. It burns much better. Okay, if you have a big lump of charcoal, it only burns on the outside. These ones have holes in the middle, so they burn from the inside outside. Much better. We get a much cleaner heat and much less smoke. This is why we put this center in there. We then take the mulch which we've made, right, soak with water, a big thick mulch, mm -hmm. and you fill it up. You fill it about halfway and then you put a spacer in there. Right? You put the spacer in like that. And then you fill up the rest. Because if you have a spacer in there, you will have two briquettes at the same time. If you don't put the spacer in there, you just make one briquette. All right, we're saving time by making two at the same go. Mm. You then put this one on top. This goes down there. This fits in there. And this whole thing is now ready to be put up. Now, can you lift this up then? Okay, now you put this up here. Okay, and now you start pressing down. Slowly, slowly. Yeah, you just compress it, okay? Yeah. All right, until it is completely compressed, you'll have about this much, all right? This will be now your two bricks in there. Then you take it off, lift it up, you take it off, you take it out, and your briquettes are ready. Two of them. Two of them, okay? You One on the each more than two. Two at a time. Okay. Okay, but you've got another set. Okay, so you can, while the one person is compressing it, the next person can already fill the next one up. So it's one after the other, one after the other, okay? And uh, <coughs> then the ready-made briquettes, uh, most of the water has been pressed out, but they still need to be dry. So you take them out and you put them nicely <coughs> on a plastic sheet or somewhere where they can dry. In a couple of dies, days' time, you'll have a nice briquette ready for using at home, using in your stove, or you can put them in a basket, in a, in a sack, and go and sell them in the market. For approximately how long does it take to dry? You'll we'll find out, you know, when it's dry, it's dry. Right? I mean, if you wash your clothes and you hang it in the sun, you don't know how long it's going to dry. I don't know how long it's going to dry. Two, three days, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, the advantage is that A, you're using all your farm products, right? All your waste which normally you burn or throw away, you use to make these briquettes. Secondly, you don't cut down any more trees. Kenya is short of trees. You're getting changes in the weather because there are not enough trees. Everybody's cutting down trees, making charcoal, making charcoal, okay? So by using this, we are recycling all that stuff. You can see it on the chamber there, the maize thing. All that can be used because it all burns. Even grass, if it dry, grass burns. We can use it. Anything that burns can be used. All right? Lucas has for me, you've got that piece of uh, the paper which I gave you, yeah, where they give you examples of the materials you can use. 
sugarcane leaves. Okay? All is up. And look at all the sugarcane on They burn it on the chamber. Total waste. Take it, chop it up, mulch it for a couple of days until it gets rotten, mix it with water, put it in there, press it together, bingo, you've got new briquettes. Alright? Will you make an assemble right now so that... No, I haven't got any material to put in. Oh. Well, I tried to make some...